Hello everyone, it's Stephanie. Welcome back to my channel. My channel name's Lindy Stitches. I sit here and talk about cross stitch. Welcome to my vacation. We are on vacation in December, which feels weird. Um, I'm not going to complain about it, but we just kind of had one of those situations where we had a week of vacation that we hadn't used yet, that we hadn't planned very well, and so it's December and we're on vacation. I miss my Christmas tree. <laughs> I, re I really, I do. Uh, one of my favorite things about December is getting up, having my coffee with my cat and the Christmas tree, and it's just cozy and wonderful, but... I guess I'll just leave it up a week later this year. We're also vacationing in Illinois, which isn't far from our home, and we're vacationing in the area I grew up in. So that's kind of odd too. Um, yeah, but we're having a good time and doing a lot of swimming. And if you have curly hair, you know what chlorinated pools do to your hairdo, so that's why I'm wearing a stocking cap and my hair is braided. <laughs> yeah, I have vacation hair, so the rest of the family is at the pool and there's this weird ledge behind the bed, so I just thought time for a floss tube video. We'll see how far I get before we're interrupted. The first thing that I want to share with you is two cross stitch patterns that I designed and that I'm releasing. They are both Golden Girls themed Rose Nyland Proverbs. So if you are a Golden Girls fan, please stick around to look at them because I think they're wonderful. About seven months ago, a man named Peter from the UK, hi Peter. Uh, contacted me and wanted a Golden Girls quote on a sampler, and so I designed it for him. He fixed it many times for me. <laughs> I am not super familiar with the Golden Girls. Um, yeah, I'm not a Golden Girls groupie, and so Peter really directed me on this one and the different motifs that are in it. Um, anyway, if you know the Golden Girls, you know Rosen Island, and she says a lot of quirky things, and she likes to quote proverbs from her hometown in Scandinavia, and they're hilarious, and anyway, here's the one that Peter wanted. I will show you the sampler that I designed for Peter right now. So this is called the Formal Affair Sampler, and it says this. It's like that old Scandinavian saying, you can let two angry mackerel fight it out in a purse, but don't ever plan on taking that purse to a formal affair. Funny, right? Uh, Peter, like I said, told me exactly what to put on the sampler. So we have the chicken playing the piano, the one-eared teddy bear, um, the dog, and then Rose Nyland's purse. I had so much fun designing this that of course I had to look up other quirky things that Rose Nyland has said, and when I found this next proverb, I knew right away that I would definitely be making it into a cross stitch pattern. So this next one is called the Walk Fast Sampler, and <laughs> Of the two, this one is my favorite. It is does not have um, Golden Girls motifs like the other one does, but I just love how it turned out and I adore the quirky saying on it. Here's what it looks like. Am I right? It's like that old Scandinavian saying, you can lead a herring to water, but you have to walk fast, or he'll die. That is pretty much the essence of my sense of humor. I think that's hilarious. Anyway, 
So if you're interested in those samplers, they are in my shop. The links will be down below. I am changing the types of pieces that I design. I am going more from beginner level cross stitch pop culture referenced uh, pieces to bigger, uh, more complex, more historical looking um, sometimes samplers. <sighs> Yeah, you'll see what I mean in the coming months. I have some exciting things to share with you. <laughs> yeah. So, I, I, yeah, I have things that I'm working on and getting model stitched that I am very proud of. And they're just on a different level than... A lot of the things that I've designed and released which is perfectly fine um, which is per I don't know what I'm saying I guess there's nothing wrong with with doing beginner level friendly cross stitch um, there's nothing wrong with doing small pieces but I have been wanting to do something else and yeah I'll talk to you more about that later. Um, hey everybody, it's me two weeks later. Don't ask me what happened to the rest of that video. But I'm so glad I could salvage the beginning of it so that I don't have to start a new one. Because I hate starting the video. I don't even, I don't know what it is. I just, I become a moron. <laughs> and... So when I recorded that, I had not actually released my Golden Girl samplers. I did that yesterday, and I'm blown away by the response and the enthusiasm. It's so gratifying. All the sweet comments on my Instagram, and then all of the people that have gone to my store to purchase one of the samplers, or both of them. Yeah, I... I mean, you know, I'm sure you can relate with this if you've created anything and you feel very enthusiastic about it, but there's always a part of you that's like, are other people going to think that this is as funny or quirky or awesome as I think it is, or am I alone in this? So, <laughs> it was just, it was just... It was just really nice to um, have such a reception. I'm having a hard time with the words today. I took the kids sledding. We have a very nice sledding hill in town and I walked up it about 50 times. So I'm a bit, bit tired. Uh, I'm having one of those approaches to Christmas that feels very unorganized and chaotic. Um, <sighs> Mom life, I think, is basically what it comes down to. Um, just trying to keep up with everyone plus all the other stuff that the holidays bring. So... I guess I don't have the clearest head for the use of language right now. <laughs> I have so much to show you and uh, talk about. First of all, I just want to say that I'm, I'm blown away by the generosity of the floss tube community, as everyone says, and I, I try not to just repeat what everyone else is saying, but yeah. I genuinely feel blown away, especially by Olivia and Elena. What in the world? I mean, they just, they completely rocked Christmas. Sending everyone gifts and personalized messages and doing the best photo shoot I've ever seen in my entire life. I, I just love those girls and I... No words. What in the world? It's 
Speaking of generosity, I am going to show you my whips and I'm going to start with my adopted project from Nell at Little Yellow House Crafts. She messaged me shortly after my last video and said she would like to adopt out her winter sampler by the Cooler Design Studio and would I like to have it? Are you kidding me? What? Um, yeah, so she sent it to me and I just... This is what it looks like. Now Nell had done uh, the top half um, and then had backstitched through here. Now I've been a huge fan of these patterns for quite some time. Uh, I did not realize the amount of backstitching and quarter stitching and these are a lot of work. <laughs> I mean you know they're big pieces but you don't necessarily pick up on the fact uh, that they're pretty complex and you can't just whip it up. Um, blown away. So I've never taken up someone else's project and continued working on it. It was quite inter- I'm, I'm de-Q uh, snapping it right now. Um, I've never done that, and it was an interesting experience. Uh, Nell stitching is gorgeous, as you would expect. I was very pleased to find out that her top leg lays the same way as my top leg, because I don't think that I would have been able to change how I stitched to keep the piece uniform, so I probably, honestly, if her stitch was opposite mine, I probably would have just continued stitching on my usual way, but it does match, so that was <laughs> that was a pleasure to find out. Um, it was weird going in to backstitch this top half, uh, not ever having seen the chart before, because um, I didn't know what any of the symbols were. I had looked at the chart a zillion times the way you normally do before you get to this backstitch, so it took me quite a while to get in the groove, but I did. And I not only finished backstitching the top half, I continued on and did a couple more sections myself. Um, like I said, this piece is a lot of work, so I am blown away <laughs> by the fact that Nell just gave it to me. Because as a stitcher, I know that that top half took her forever. And that it was just automatically done is amazing to me. I just think this is gorgeous. It it has a ton of, of backstitching in it. I love backstitching so I actually had a blast I had a blast doing this. Um, yeah, it was fun. I had to sew some fabric on the sides to make it fit into my lap stand. I just think this looks gorgeous. Um, there's not much to say. It's it's a lovely piece. I'm having fun. Tis the season and all that. Thank you so much, Nell. I <laughs> I've thanked her a few times so far, but I just... I'm just so thankful. Yeah, I, I just, I really enjoy it. It's, it's so pretty. Um, a couple of things, there was two, I hope this isn't embarrassing to Nell because I, I, I would have easily made the same mistake, but there were two blues that were swapped and I didn't figure it out until I started to fill in this lady and something, I just knew something was off. So if you look at specifically the Wonderland on the bottom. This dark blue should have been a, just a shade lighter blue and so some of the blues are a little more defined or less defined than they're supposed to be, um, particularly in the snow. 
you totally can't tell and I don't think I would have even ripped it out if I had figured it out sooner. Um, you can tell in the lake instead of a nice reflection on my lake it's just kind of frozen blues uh, I don't know you probably can't even tell it's an insignificant change it still looks gorgeous um, yeah mmm I yeah love it in each of the winter samplers there is one thing well, in this one and in the spring one, there's one element in each of those that I don't really understand. In the spring sampler, it's the bottle of perfume. I, I, don't, I don't get the connection. Spring, bottle of perfume. What? Um, in this one, it's this... Um, it says Mont Blanc and it's a lady skiing. I know that, like, I know where that is. Like, I'm not going to Mont Blanc anytime soon. <laughs> so I don't really get why that, why that text is there. I think I'm just going to leave it out. Um, I think I'm also going to make Santa black. Because I want to. I'm not looking forward to doing Santa. He is just going to be very complex. And looking at the chart for Santa, <sighs> he's he's going to be so much work. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to tackle him this December, or I, I probably won't. I'll probably um, I won't get to Santa, but yeah, he's going to take he's going to take a lot of concentration. There's a lot of fractionals, a lot of color changes and yeah. I also don't really understand. Now, I'm just being a perfectionist, but I don't understand. Brian, does this does this bother you? Not bother, but like have you thought about this? Like that chronologically this doesn't really make any sense to me. So when winter starts, it's Christmas then New Year's, then Valentine's Day, instead of New Year's, Valentine's Day, Christmas, like, I think it's opposite of how my brain works, like, I think Christmas should be up here, then New Year's, then Valentine's Day, and general winter activity, I don't know, I'm just being picky, <laughs> I, did, I just, I don't get the order, whatever. Thank you so much, Nell. I love this piece, and I'm, I'm having a great time. The chart is... for In general, it's fine, but because there's so much back stitching and so many fractionals, it can be hard to read. I have a physical chart. I don't know if they did anything different with the PDF, but this chart really could use a separate back stitching chart instead of all of it together because there are lots of instances where I can't, I can't read what's under the back stitching. I can't read what color it's supposed to be. I can make an educated guess, but it's just a little bit frustrating. Other than that, these are fun and I don't know if I'll talk, be able to talk myself into doing another one, but I just can't believe Nell sent me that. <laughs> I just can't believe it. Okay. What would you like to see next? How about my Chatelaine? Okay. I'm doing Mushroom and Fern Mandal... Mon... Man... I'm doing the Mushroom and Fern Mandala. And I'm having a blast. I love this thing so much. And here's where I am. So since you last saw it, I finished the upright frame and I started on the corners. And it's gorgeous. I, what is there to say? I, 
I adore it. It's not hard to work on. Um, the stitch diagrams can be very challenging. Uh, there is a weird star here. You probably won't be able to see it. I'll do my weird focusy thing. Hold on. So this stitch right here, there's four of them in the pink and um, green variegated silk. It's a really wonky star and it's three stitches by two stitches. You cannot read the stitch diagram at all and so could I just make up my own stitch? No, like a perfectionist, I insisted that I figure out what the stitch was actually supposed to be. So it took me an, over an hour to do one. <laughs> Ugh. But now I have them figured out, so now I can do them. Love this project. Um, what else is there to say? Okay, next. All right, another cooler design pattern. Um, Nell, sent, Nell uh, stitched her winter sampler from a kit, and that's great. Um, I actually love that because I have all the floss. She sent me all the floss, which, Nell, what in the world? Your bobbins look like they were done by an angelic being. What? What? Like, I thought I had pretty neat bobbins. I could not believe her bobbins. I just... Of course, now they're all messed up because I've been using them. But, no, what are you... How are your bobbins so neat? I, I don't get it. Like, they were just... A plus. What was I even talking about? Okay, Nell, stit Nell had the kit. You, you can hardly find the kits anymore, and if you do, they're pretty expensive. Uh, you can get the chart from Cooler Design Studios website um, today if you want. This is my Autumn Cat Sampler. This one is not by the same author. This one is by Nancy Rossi. Really enjoying this, but it's way more work than I thought it was going to be. How big is this? I forget how big it's going to be. Maybe 14 inches? Okay, mine is, it's going to be 7 by 14. I really thought this was going to more, go more quickly. <laughs> it's totally not. This one, I will say, uh, does have the same amount of back stitching as the wimp w winter sampler, um, but it has less fractionals. I don't know that it has any fractionals now that I think about it. I don't think that there's any fractionals in here. Um, there might be a few, but I'm looking at a page of the chart and I don't see any. So most of the uh, definition is from the back stitch, not from fractional. So this one goes faster than the winter sampler. There's a lot less like solid stitching, but I think it's looking great. I haven't touched it in quite a while. Um, not in the fall mood anymore. All right, that's my autumn cat sampler. That probably will not get any attention for quite a while. I thought, you know, now that I have an autumn whip and a winter whip, uh, wouldn't it be fun to have one for each season? Although, depending on the size of your piece, you might just be stitching on them for a long time. Anyway. Alright. Next work in progress is my Seeds of Freedom by Silver Creek Samplers. I have only this section left to go, and I just could not do it. I, I was done. Oh, 
me rip that out. Here's what it looks like. I got that graveyard done in the bottom. Pretty straightforward. I just need to finish it and I really don't, I'm not feeling it. So that's that project. I won Farm Girl's giveaway. I couldn't believe it. Um, Farm Girl was giving away Michelle. <laughs> Michelle was giving away um, the words. Where's the words? I don't know. She was doing a giveaway. She did um, Casting a Spell by Blackbird Designs. Almost hit myself in the head. Um, she painted this box and gave away the pattern and the box and she threw in a bunch of nice stuff in the little cubes like a generous lovely person and I won it um and so I started it I have a wonderful lovely person in my life with an October birthday and so I thought if I stitched one square each month I would still have time to finish it for her and so, um, I can't even show it to you because it's all scrunchled up. I did two blocks. I'm not going to uncue snap it. I got this Witchel, um, Ada. Not Ada. <laughs> it's not, is it Witchel? I don't even know. Lamb's Wool 30 Count Ada. I'm pretty sure it's Witchel. It is so crunchy. I can't even believe it. Um, I'll just undo it. I hope you guys appreciate this. So I'm using four color and cotton colors that I picked out from my floss subscription and here's what I have so far. Just these two blocks. I'm using um, a dark gray, a orange, a brown, a purple, and maybe a red. So that'll be a fun project. I really like the 30 count linen with two strands. It's really pretty, it's it's good coverage. It's probably like my coverage limit because 28, I really like using three. So that's weird how just bumping it up to 30, I can use two. That's, it's nice. The coverage is perfect. It's not too thick and I can't see the fabric. So that's wonderful. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and show you one of the patterns that I'm working on. The junk is just cascading down the desk. Okay, I'm going to show you one of the patterns that I've been working on that is my design. I showed you a sneak peek of it last time. I'm just going to show you what I have so far. I won't be able to reveal how the full pattern is going to look. But I'm excited about this. I'm waiting for a gentle arts thread to be able to finish this up. Um, and it's been back ordered, so that's the hold with this one. I think it looks amazing! Right now I'm calling it the Walter Sampler. Walter is the name of my cat. But it's not going to be called that um, when I finish it. So here's how it looks. There's going to be some text in the blank spot and um, a couple motifs and a little bit of black work. And so this whole area is going to be filled up, but not with hard stuff. So I should be able to finish this up pretty quickly. Uh, these two borders are both uh, antique. I, I, both, I found both in antique pattern library. Just gorgeous. Are they not gorgeous? And look at that. <laughs> I think I did a very decent job uh, translating my cat to cross stitch. 
The pattern is also going to include a blonde modification for the cat, so um, not quite as blonde as Buster, <laughs> but uh, pretty close. So if you have a golden tabby, is that what you call it? A ginger? A ginger cat? I don't know. <laughs> There's going to be a, a color variation for the cat, um, just for a little bit more customization. Uh, but I think it would be pretty easy to change the colors yourself if you have a black cat or whatever else. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about this one uh, because the text is wonderful and it's going to be great. And I just need that thread to come in the mail. All right, I'm gonna go grab one project that I forgot. So the only purchase that I made since my last video, unless I'm forgetting something, which I totally could be, was a project I saw finished on Instagram, and it is charming and beautiful, much beautiful than the pattern makes it look. Um, totally unlike me because I am not a Santa person. That seems kind of, um, bah humbug to say. <laughs> I'm not into the old guy who goes around giving children gifts. Just not my thing. Um, but I saw this and it's really, really pretty stitched up. The greens are really gorgeous. He's holding a giant bunny. What is it with Santa and woodland animals that's so appealing? I I don't know, but I had to have this and it was four dollars, so now it's in my stash. Who knows when to be started? I think that's everything. Last year I was super organized and did a 20, what was it, 2016 wrap up and talked about all the project I worked on and yada yada and I, I just can't do that this year. Um, my goals for next year are to carry on. <laughs> uh, I am going to attend the Nashville Needlework Market unless something crazy happens and derails that plan. I can't wait, I'm excited. I am ready to learn a lot more about uh, the cross stitch market and um, I am really trying to focus my business. Uh, yeah, I, I'm creating different kinds of designs behind the scenes that are getting uh, couple that are getting model stitched. I have a couple more designed and kind of waiting on different elements. Just heading in new directions and excited to go to Nashville and figure some things out for myself and make some contacts and meet some people that I've been a huge fan of for quite some time. I, I'm excited and I have a loose goal of hopefully exhibiting the following year, so 2019. Sorry, my camera threw a fit. I say it's a loose goal to exhibit uh, at Nashville in 2019 because I am a mom. I have a lot of responsibilities. Uh, my life can rapidly change <laughs> from month to month. And so, um, yeah, I look forward to contributing um, and continuing to contribute to the cross-stitch market and seeing my business grow. Um, yeah. I hope you have a lovely Christmas and break and that you enjoy your holiday with your family and friends and the people that you love. It will be my third floss tube anniversary in 2018 and I can hardly believe it. it seems to have flown by, um, but my life is 
is blessed because I decided to start recording floss tube videos. I have met the loveliest people, well, not in person, but, um, <laughs> you know what I mean. Um, you're all wonderful, and I love reading your comments and interacting with you and getting to know you. I love my fellow floss tube friends, and um, I wish that I had more time to interact um, socially that way, uh, maybe in the future. But thank you for um, taking me as I am and <laughs> dealing with my sporadic videos. Um, if you would like to keep better tabs on me and what I'm doing. I am more active on Instagram than here on YouTube, um, so you can catch me over there. Uh, my shop is at lindystitches.com. Thanks for hanging out with me. I will see you in the new year. Bye, friends.